Did you see everything you needed to see? I saw enough. Ever since Game of Thrones finished and The Last Kingdom finished and Vikings finished Tell them not to be afraid. There's been a hole in my heart where that kind of genre, that epic genre, that time scaled genre has been missing in my heart. But now we have a new epic called The Winter King. And I'm here to talk about it and let you know whether it's going to fill that place in your heart. So when it comes to Arthur it is or King Arthur, Hail King Arthur, we've had Excalibur, Sword of the Stone, Merlin. Merlin. We've had similar series like the Viking series. There you are, brother. It's like the Lost Kingdom series. The Winter King is kind of sits snugly in that. But when you're thinking of an Arc Arthur series or a Merlin series, you might be thinking magics. There isn't really any magic in this. In fact, it takes the tone more of the Last Kingdom. You bastard. Very grounded, very Arthur Pendragon is a castaway. He is the bastard son that is banished from his kingdom and he is the, 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 the sort of returning hero comes back similar to how Robin Hood King of Thieves starts where Kevin Costner comes back from you know all his times in wh whether it's jail or training he comes back after being in fights and wars of own as a, a conquering hero in a time when his land needs him most and that's kind of what we get here in the first episode if you've seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Fitzgerald no past it just it just is and nothing you can do will change that is the last person i would have thought that would have helmed this series as arthur as this i guess like really gritty gruff strong believable character that is needed to basically be the protagonist but also this leader you know of that's going to bring the people together bring the kingdoms together it's time for something new to stop the Saxons that are wanting to invade or are invading at all types of borders to stop the I guess the the people bickering the sort of politics that you would get in Game of Thrones that's what you get in here it's kingdom after kingdom skirmishes after skirmishes where things have been done a certain way Arthur now wants to try and do things a different way he wants to try and bringing people together and stop all the, the the madness of where you do the same thing all the time and expect a different outcomes that that is madness and so he along with his men that he's gonna trust over with uh, and also Merlin in the background where Merlin brings in strays at Avalon everybody that doesn't belong to some sort of tribe or doesn't fit anyway he gathers them to himself and of course there's the pagans as well now Merlin he's sort of a seer he does have some sort of Jedi mind tricks which I think is pretty cool the way he you know this is not the the death stick you were looking for uh, you want to go home and rethink your life. He's that sort of guy. So they aren't magics per se, but there is uh, future seeing. There, you know, from what we've seen, he does have powers, and there are others in his tribe or other pagans that have powers. There's a priestess, and the casting is fantastic for these characters. You, by the end of episode one, I guarantee you, you will be loving these characters. You will be enthralled and worried for them. It's also the type of series where when you fall in love with characters, they are likely to be taken out. Think Game of Thrones, Red Wedding. When it's brutal, when it's violent, it's it's up there. It's high. You know, it's really dark in places. Not quite as the consistency with nudity and language um, as Game of Thrones at all. In fact, it's very tame compared to Game of Thrones in that way. But when it comes to the violence, it's very dark and brutal. Mostly, though, it is the drama unfolding between where you see its filmed filming location and Bristol still in an old castle there so very vibrant in its wooded areas that feel very mis mystical when we're dealing with the murder and characters and the pagans or the hunting of people and then a, a very authentic looking castle so very much places you in the zone but what it comes down to is the characters and the actors that are playing them you got eddie marson who plays king uther if you remember the moment where one of the kings in Lord of the Rings, I think it was the Two Towers, there's this scene where this guy has sent his son out to kill 
his son basically on the front lines and he's eating a bit of chicken and a bit of tomatoes and it's really like a close-up and gross sounding effect is that sort of king is the king that this guy plays and it, it's perfect to set the kind of tone of the political nature of how things are run here we have a number of other actors that are so good but it is a similar story and there are going to be not tropes but the law that you want in arthur but it's not quite done like you've seen them before it's not the more magical route there is going to be a story with the excalibur sword not quite like you expect there's going to be the morgana story there's the arthur arthur pendragon the bloodline merlin the pagans all of that takes place i've seen the first five episodes of the 10 and i have to say it's been a very long time when i've gone into a series going oh these are hour-long episodes uh, you know maybe it's just going to be drawn out will i be sucked into another world and by the end of the first episode that was me i was hooked so getting into that second episode where it's brutal the third episode and the fourth episode is setting up for what's coming into the fifth episode and the fifth episode leaves you going oh, wow what are they going to do now the stakes are high there are characters that are going to be in peril that you love the whole time and wondering if Arthur is the wise character that they're making him out to be or is he more brutal and evil perhaps I don't think he is but there is a fine line between him switching off his emotions and running it logically they call him the wise man because he's supposedly come back from battle very wise is he all of those things or is there more to his character I'm going to definitely watch the next five uh, when I get the screeners but the first five We've been given thanks to um, MGM and I have to say this is going to be up there for me I think so far these first five episodes have been great very much reminiscent of the things like The Last Kingdom or Vikings or Game of Thrones different feel to a lot of those some of the feeling of Merlin but not quite with those magics like you would expect more realistic grounded but still epic in nature so I can't give a, a rating just yet, but it's definitely teetering on a strong four so far. I'll do a rounded up one when I've finished watching all 10. Let me know if you're excited for this one. Had you even heard of it? It's on MGM Plus as far as I'm aware, but I also know it's going to be like sold to different or given to other platforms. So who knows where you will find it. First episode starts this Sunday. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.